hard to believe that it's been 18 years, and I know for so many of you it seems like yesterday. At dusk this evening in Staten Island, they gather for an annual vigil to remember the victims of the 9-11 terror attacks. Vincent Lieta. Michael Mazzaroli. Nearly 300 people with ties to Staten Island died on that horrific day. Their names read one by one. Photos of each life cut short in a permanent memorial here. Those who lost loved ones comforting one another as emotions are still raw 18 years later. He was 37 years old at the time, yeah. Raymond Waltz's brother, FDNY Lieutenant Jeffrey Waltz, was one of the heroes on that day that forever changed our nation. Raymond comes every year to be with others who share his pain. For Staten Islanders, I think it's a place that we find a lot of solitude, peace, comfort, because um, everybody's kind of been in the same place. Tomorrow, hundreds will gather for the commemoration ceremony at the 9-11 Memorial at the World Trade Center. It will include moments of silence marking when the Twin Towers were struck, as well as the moment when the Pentagon was attacked and Flight 93 crashed in Pennsylvania. Raymond Walt will be there. It's just families, just milling around, talking, comforting each other, you know, and just being a part of, you know, of a really important day.